what is going on ladies and gentlemen here we go again got us a quick little live show tonight got some cool things to talk to you guys about got some stuff to give away to the people ladies and gentlemen do me a favor whether you're watching from facebook or from youtube you're watching it live or you're watching it later in the week do me a favor click that like button share this Put it on your page. Put it in some of your favorite groups. Let the world know that Cast King is live or they go live every Tuesday night. Plus, Nikki goes live on the YouTube channel weekly as well. And we like to hook people up. And tonight, we're, we're hooking up. We're going to announce the two winners a little bit later in the show. It won't be a very long show tonight. It's going to be a quick and easy show. And I'm hoping that the service goes good. I've been working on the internet. Got it. Got it. Uh, a cabled connection. Have a storm rolling through. But I think we're going to be okay. We're going to try. Knock on wood, right? Knock on wood. So we're going to keep rolling through. Oh, my camera moved a little bit there. So I knocked on that wood a little too hard. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But anyways, guys, what's going on? Let's jump on over and take a look at who we got in the comment section. Of course, we've got Melissa Justice and Jesse Justice. I believe Milton Thompson's hiding there. Gary E., what's happening, man? How are you? Dalton, good to see you. Mikey Mosier. Guys, we got a celebrity in the house, Mr. Mikey Mosier. He's actually coming back to the Cast King roster, lining up, guys. Lots of great content. If you guys are some OGs in the Cast King world, I can tell you right now, it is no secret who Mikey Mosier is to you guys. He was one of our hosts on Captain's Corner. We've got Mikey Mosier is going to be creating some more content and coming back to the YouTube channel with us. Uh, you know, Mikey's gone out there and he's been working uh, with a lot of big industry pros in the MLF as well as in the uh, Bassmaster Elite Series, doing some great things, creating some big content for those guys that have amassed a huge clientele of, of some big pros that are that uh, Mikey's helping with uh, on their uh, in their industry and the things that they do. But Mikey's coming back to help us a little bit. Uh, and, and get some good Cast King content out there. Mikey's a stud. Mikey puts out great content. He's always got good shots, great audio. I mean, the dude, the dude's legit. I can toot that horn all day long. Mikey, glad to have you in the audience and glad to have you back making content for Cast King. It's always been a pleasure to have you around. Who else we got in here? We got Average Joe's Fishing Club. What's going on? Gilbert Singleton, how you doing? Mendel Yano, glad to have you in here. Oh, we got the Cast king holic in the house, and we all know who that is, Mr. Milton. What's going on, brother? Adam Robinson, what's happening? Russ Hill, Sebastian, glad to have you as always, guys. All right, so let's get to brass tacks. Let's get to talking some fishing, guys. Now, one thing I want to talk about tonight, and we'll get into it. I want some Q&As. I want to hear some feedback from you guys. What is your guys' honest opinion of the Kestrel? What do you guys think? It's a coming in. At 4.4 ounces, it is the industry's lightest baitcaster, period. There isn't one lighter. We own that title. We own the title in speed when it comes to the world's fastest baitcaster. We own the title in speed when it comes to spinning reels um, in the Speed Demon Elite spinning reel. And we own the title for the industry's lightest uh, spinning or baitcaster, sorry, when it comes to the Kestrel Elite Bait casting reel. Now we do have a Kestrel and a spinning, and that sucker is super light coming in at 4.6, but 4.4 ounces. Uh, Jesse just says, haven't got one yet. So that's a very good point, Jesse. You bring up a good point. Let me throw that out there, guys. So those of you who don't know, the Kestrel Elite is the world's lightest fishing reel uh, in the industry in a bait caster. It is in a magnesium body. I've actually got one right here, so I'll talk about it. It is a magnesium body, which is like a derivative of an aluminum, okay? It's a magnesium alloy. And then we also have a carbon fiber side plates. This has a throwout style uh, braking system that is magnetic and kind of centrifugal. Um, it's, it's kind of a combination between the both. It's a little bit of a different design. Uh, and then, of course, you have a 13-pound carbon fiber drag as well as a super lightweight and small uh, carbon fiber handle. We've got the cool ninja style star drag system on there. And then, of course, I call these the Twix grips. It's unlike any grip we've ever ran on any of our reels before. I saw them at first. And I was like, that's different. I don't know if I'm going to like those. I love them. I love them. I fell in love with them. I'm not even going to lie. I really enjoy fishing with this reel. Now, this is a bait finesse reel. Okay. It's a bait finesse package. That is something that has been very popular and we've seen blow up. Kind of on the Japanese JDM scene, right? But it's blowing up all over the country. Starting to pop off all over the world. Uh, Gary says, oh, Gary got one. Gary got one, okay? So 
spooled mine with 13x with a fluorocarbon leader. It's exactly what I did too. Okay, guys. So they haven't been released yet to the public. They haven't. But some people have got them and pre-ordered off Tackle Warehouse, Bay Finesse Empire, and of course you can pre-order through Casking.com. Um, Gary, where did you pick yours up at? Where did you pre-order yours, if you don't mind, in the comment section? Um, and I can tell you right now, some people have actually been getting early shipments of them. So those people, I can't promise if you pre-order right now, you're going to get an early shipment, right? They're really not supposed to drop till early September. Tackle Warehouse has them showing off of the, uh, um, into September 14th. So Gary Singh, he picked his up off the Cast King website. Now, can I promise you guys that if you guys are going to pick them up off the Casking website, are you going to have one show up at your door to, by the end of the weekend? Gary got his. So they might be putting them out as they as they get different shipments in. Uh, we're stocking up. So please be feel free to pre-order, but just don't get your heart broke if you don't get it till September because that's when they're supposed to be shipping. So now Diego is asking how much. Okay, so this again, this is a elite reel. It is a magnesium chassis. And it, it's carbon fiber side plates. It has a state-of-the-art braking system, 13.6 of carbon fiber drag. It has the low-profile uh, bait finesse spool on it. This thing is exquisite when it comes to bait finessing. Now, a lot of people, by the way, not to get off there, I, he did ask, how much was this reel coming in at? This is a $219 reel. It is a bit of a more expensive reel, but into the spectrum of bait finesse reels, it is still very inexpensive compared to a lot of other reels that boast similar uh, features. Now, you can go with the Zephyr bait finesse and coming in at around $80. Um, they are quite different animals. They are both finesse reels, bait finesse reels, but the way they're built is a lot different. The components are, are, are a little bit different design. They are fantastic. So, Diego, $219, okay? Now, let's jump on over. Let me share my screen here. We're going to jump over to casting.com and we're going to go ahead and look at these reels. Now, you guys are going to be able to pre order this thing. This is the casting.com reel, okay? So you can go to casting.com, put it in your cart, make sure you pay attention whether you want right hand or left hand, okay? So, and this reel is only coming in at one gear ratio, okay, guys? Now, like I said, it is 13 pounds of carbon fiber drag, and your ratio on this reel, I want to say, is a 7.4. Eight, four to one, eight, four to one. Okay. On this reel right here, you're only getting one ratio. Some of our different casking reels come in several, several different ratios. This guy is coming in at the eight, four to one. Uh, and actually I love this thing. Now, as you can see right here, I got my drop shot weight right here. Just like Gary was saying, he's got his fluorocarbon leader and I'm rocking the 13 X finesse braid. This thing is money. Now I don't drop shot. I don't bait finesse much. Okay. I don't. I, I'd like to get into it more. Um, and it's cool because with this reel, you can now take a reel and go out. And I drop shot with this thing with a bait caster. There are guys out there that drop shot with bait casters. I've never used a bait caster reel, but I do have the casking Brutus. I'll tell you what, if you're going to get into a bait casting reel, start off with the Mega Jaws upgraded that self adjusts on, break, on your braking system or the Mega Jaws Elite. So, uh, Yak and Life right here says 841 would be awesome. It actually is awesome. I really like the gear ratio. Um, it's a bait finesse system. So, you can throw it out there, you can twitch it, pop it, but you have that speed to retrieve when you need it. So, that's the cool thing about it. Like I said, I use it for drop shot all the time, okay? That is like my new go-to thing. It actually has a clicker on the drag system. So when those fish are actually pulling drag, you can hear and feel it click slightly. It's got a, It's not the most loudest. Some spinning reels have a very loud drag that clicks and tings when it's pulling drag. Um, it is not loud. It is a subtle click on that drag. But when I first heard it, I was like, hey, this is pretty cool. It's got a drag that I can actually hear audibly and know that my drag is feeding line like it should. And in it, when you get into bait casting reels, for those of you who don't know, um, a lot of guys will cinch their drag down and lock it all the way down and doesn't don't allow it to slip. So there's there's a lot of conversations going on there. The 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 new deadbolt in the Speedy Mini Elite series, which is going to be Cliff Crochet's reel, uh, is his reel. He, it's no drag. So there's no slip. So there's that argument, well, do you want it to slip? Do you not want it to slip? How much drag do you use? When do you use drag? 
Me personally, when you're talking bait finesse, drag is important. Okay. When you're drop shotting, when you're running super light lines, uh, all kinds of different things, um, you really want to pay attention and let that drag run. Because like we talked about when we had um, our, our fishing line specialist uh, on here last time, Mr. Braid Whisperer himself, uh, he mentioned too, a lot of times your line's going to fail when you do break off a big portion of it. It's at the knot, not saying that you, you know, are not great at tying knots. You may not be great. You may be exquisite, but your knot creates the first weak point in the link. So you definitely want to make sure you lubricate your knots, whether they're wet, spit, whatever you do, make sure you're lubricating your knot to sense it down. But my point is when it's going to fail at the knot, it's either going to fail where your fluorocarbon leader is or where your hook is tied. Or if you do get a nick in your line, it's going to break there. Now, Let's say your line is perfectly structurally great and you're rocking like for me, 10 pound 13 X braid and I'm running a eight pound fluorocarbon line. It's either going to come apart right there where I've got that Albright knot or it's going to break at the hook. You want that drag to move. So if you hook up in a very large fish uh, or a fish with shoulders, uh, you definitely want that drag to work okay you want that drag to move and with that drag system that is audible and 13 pounds of drag you can either lighten it way up or you can apply more drag however you feel you need but again you want a good working drag especially when you're working with light lines and you're finessing fish so that is important so some people love to lock their drag down in the kestrel hey if that's what you want to do that's what we want to do but to me, if you're going to be bait finessing, you're going to be running light lines, you're going to be running a 13X with fluorocarbon leader, or you're going straight, you know, polymer lines and, and four pound test to the spool, you want that drag. You really do. And you want it to work. And that 13 pounds of carbon fiber drag gives you a good amount of drag uh, for larger fish, but yet you can still back it off and have really light drag. And that audible side lets you know, hey, I can feel it. I can hear it. I'm in the fight. I'm paying attention to what this fish is doing. I'm going to get into the boat. And that is awesome. That's great stuff. So many times. So Melissa Justice says right here, many times it is a personal preference on drag. Me, drag is a big deal. Um, I do have the deadbolt. I use it for certain applications. Um, but I'm not a guy that locks his drag way down. I do snug it up. Uh, me and the human forklift got into an argument this weekend. It was more of a fun, like, giving each other, you know, crap. Uh, and guff because I had the drag loose. I let him use the Kestrel a little bit this weekend. He fell in love with it, but he goes, bro, you got to tighten that drag up. That drag's too loose. And I was like, nay, 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 sir. I like to let a drag run and let the fish tire out. And I get a lot of fish to the boat more. And I'm not throwing Mr. Human Forklift under the bus, but he has broke a fish or two off a little more than, than I think he would want to admit. So <laughs> neener, 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 Ricky. Loosen your drag. <laughs> yeah, anyhow, so uh, what do we got here? Being, to say, being able to adjust your drag on the fly is very important to me. Absolutely. Yes, Eric, I agree with you. So that drag works great. It's awesome. It is a beautiful system to work with. Guys, check it out in that bait finesse. Now, some people will go, well, I don't really bait finesse much. I don't. You know, I don't go out there. I'm not going to be trying to catch all these little tiny fish, you know, and finesse them out on light line. Why do I need this? Some people don't also like to use spinning wheels. Now, so, so let's say you're thinking about getting the, ke the Kestrel. You're not quite sure when you would use its applications. For me, where I've really found that it's great is especially like I'm really – I do a lot of drop shotting. I fire them up, you know, uh, and get them going, start getting them in the boat, and that's the thing. Maybe you don't like to use a spinning reel and you like to use a bait caster. And this is a very fun one to use. And I can tell you, you can use it all day long. And with that lightweight, it's going to cut down on serious arm fatigue. Combo it up with your favorite lightweight rod. Um, I'm going to be ordering a, um, a walleye rod for this one in a very medium light. And it's going to turn into one of my drop shot rigs phenomenally. It's going to be my makeshift bait finesse. It's also a drop shot rig uh, with that Kestrel. Arm fatigue. It cuts so much of it out, you know, it, it's big on cutting it out that, that you definitely want to, you know, look into that. Plus I drop shot with it and I start picking up a couple small fish that would normally not bite, present that bait in a different way. And then all of a sudden, boom, boom, I start catching fish. I start catching more and more fish. And then all of a sudden my graph starts seeing all these streaks and now I fired them up and I can start going to a jig 
or a shaky head or start ripping a crankbait through there and start picking up bigger numbers. But before those fish may not have been biting, but now I can present a different finessing system and start capturing more fish's attention, fire them up, and start putting bigger fish in the boat. And it can all start with that Kestrel. So, guys, that is definitely something to check out. Now, if you guys are just now tuning in, uh, let me know what you guys think of some of the different options in the Kestrel. And is the Kestrel something that you might be putting into your vault of, of fishing reels? You know, this is a, it is a beautiful reel. You can do pre-order right now at casking.com. You can do that pre-order. You can also do tacklewarehouse.com. Boom. That was my daughter and my niece right there. So you can go into casting reels, come on down, scroll down, find casking there. Click on that. Scroll right on down and you will see, boom, right here. It was featured at iCast and your pre-sale is happening as well uh, at 219 through uh, tacklewarehouse.com. Now, there's also another system, Bait Finesse Empire, is also offering the Kestrel on pre-order as well. So I understand you, I accept your cookies, but you can definitely check it out at Bait Finesse Empire. So you have three ways to pre-order. We'd love it if you pre-order off castking.com. We love it when you pre-order off of tacklewarehouse.com. And if you check out our friends over at Bait Finesse Empire, these people have all kinds of other goodies for the world of Bait Finesse. Check it out either way. They're going to get you hooked up and get you dialed in. And the Kestrel is definitely something to do. So I've never fished. Okay, let's check this out. Let's go back here. I've never fished BFS. What rod pair with this reel? Many friends have gotten into it lately. So, Chris, there's a lot of different uh, rods you can take a look at. I know that there's a ton of BFS rods um, on the market uh, that you can start looking into. Bait Finesse Empire will definitely have some of those other brands on there. Now, if you're looking for a casking rod, unfortunately, we don't have an actual targeted bait finesse rod for that. Um, but you can make shift. Like for me, what I'm going to do for getting, and then what I would recommend is if somebody's going to get into it and they're going to dabble in bait finesse, but yet still make it something that they want to multitask and use in different ways, uh, they can definitely, let's see here, find different rods that are going to work great for them. Now, where is, da, 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 right here, the walleye wide eye rods. So let me click into this, jump over. So I'm going to show you here let's go into casting now here's a casting medium right here so this one right here in the five six okay it's a five six casting it's a medium action yeah this is the rod it is a true im9 rod with fuji components high-end fuji components fuji reel seats uh it's going to have your AAA cork handle some of the larger ones will actually feature an eva grip and you can see the AAA manganese cork like I said, high-end Fuji components, and it's also got micro um, resins uh, in there to also strengthen, but yet keep it lightweight. So you guys definitely, that micro nanotechnology resins is something you guys are going to want to check out. That's one of the ones that I'm dealing with, but I'm also using it right now on a pair of G2 rod. So let's look at casting rods again. And this is getting me by until I dial in that, uh, that rod uh, in the world of the sorry i'm getting lost here looking for that casting rod where did it go medium light right here boom in the walleye wide eye rod so the pair g2 in a medium to medium light this is another great option and if you're looking to go affordable bang see that one's showing out of stock you might be able to get it off of uh um uh, amazon.com out of stock in our warehouse but the medium option is also in stock so you've got a, a very low uh investment at 69 dollars. you can step up 30 dollars more and get that walleye roll wide eye uh, both are going to have great components, Fuji components found, Fuji real seeds, AAA cork found on the wide eye. That's going to be my next go-to. So definitely something to do. So boom, right here. I specifically want a BFS reel for drop shotting and throwing Ned rigs. Yak in life, I'm telling you, check out this new Kestrel. It is neat. I have not touched any of my spinning rods since I've got my hands on this uh, early shipment of it and it is all i've been catching all my drop shot uh fish on and i do a lot of drop shot fishing in arizona it is phenomenal phenomenal so seth larson what's up boy what's up right there i'm telling you it's good stuff right here see like joe rollins right here boom love my pair of g rod 
Joe, thank you for the comment. Sean, again, thank you very much for your comment. Love it right here. Boom, right here. Average Joe's Fishing Club, those walleye wide eye rods are absolutely legit. Love mine for throwing Ned Rigs, shaky heads, and drop shots. So you see, you're on the same page where I'm at right there, getting it done, going to have it done. Awesome. Boom. Pow, right here. Chris, again, you're welcome, man. Glad to help you out on that. So now I did tell you guys at the beginning of the broadcast that this was going to be kind of a short show. We got some other stuff to cover real quick, but I don't want you guys sitting on the edge of your seats to know whether you won last week or not. So the giveaway last week was one winner from Facebook and one winner from Instagram. I'm not sorry, Instagram, YouTube. <laughs> Pay attention, AJ, chasing the squirrel. So the cool thing is about these winners, what we're going to do is we're going to give away up to a 300-yard spool. That's the max length that we're going to give away. And the winners that I'm going to come shoot across your screen and announce are going to be able to choose whether they want the Super Power Braid, the Destron 13X Mega 8, Cast Pro Super Power Braid Silky 8, the new Extremist Braid, the, the 8X, some Mono, Fluorocarbon, Covert, so on. You guys understand where we're going with it. Maybe you want some fly line that we can offer into the into the system. That's fine. Up to a 300-yard spool is what we are going to go ahead and let them choose. Okay? So, granted, this also is off of the casting.com website, and inventory will apply depending on what's going on. We all know that there's a shortage all across the United States of all kinds of stuff, so hopefully we can get you dialed in. Now, with that said, our winners – is going to be, oh, hold on here. I got to do this. Let's, there we go. Boom. Our winners, the Facebook winner is going to be John, John Crabtree. And I believe, <laughs> let me edit this real quick. Anybody that saw that's going to love that. I must have hit the, yeah, oh yeah, it's right there. Screwed that one up. So, so John Crabtree is the lucky winner on our oh, save and now go there we go john crabtree you are our facebook winner and for our youtube winner is going to be crappie kev crappie kev so john crabtree you're our facebook winner you get to choose up to a 300 yard spool of whatever line is on the in stock on the casking.com website that fits your needs the best and uh old uh YouTube winner is going to be Crappy Kev. Crappy Kev. Not crappy as in a bad person. Nope. I'm, I'm believing this guy's a crappy guy. So you are our lucky winner. Congratulations. Uh, sorry for the misprint in there, uh, Mr. Crabtree. So it's, it's just a crappy thing to do, guys. Crappy thing to do. So those are our lucky winners. Guys, if you guys are ever watching, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, we're always doing all kinds of promotions. Make sure you're following us on Instagram, especially when we're doing Swag Wednesdays, which is tomorrow. All kinds of goodies, discounts, giveaways happen on Swag Wednesdays, so pay attention. Make sure you guys are following Casking USA on Instagram or Casking Community because you guys want to take part in those promotions over there. But like I was saying, make sure you're following us on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Always promotions, giveaways, hookups, just like two winners got hooked up on up to 300 yards of their favorite line that they get to choose. So congratulations to those guys. So now before I turn you guys loose, because we're coming up on that 30 minute hour, let's jump over to the casking.com website right here. Let it load up to the boom right there. That's what I was looking for. Let's save this page right here. We're going in. As you guys can notice, when you hit the landing page, you're going to see the Labor Day fishing sale that is coming up. And actually, it's it's happening now. So you guys don't have to wait till Labor Day. You can take advantage of it. But the thing that I want you guys to make sure that you pay attention to is when you're logging on here is this guy right here. See the shop now? So you have over here, you have the code, the LB20, 20% off when you buy two of the promo listed items. Or you can get 15% off any of the promo listed items, which is going to be Labor it's going to be LB or LB20. So LB15 or LB20. Okay, those are our Labor Day promotions. LB15 for 15% off a single item. Or if you're going to buy two or more items, get 20% off LB20. So let's find what options and what items are in there. So you click the shop now, and it's going to take you to a whole different landing page with those specified items that are on this promo. 
So, guys, the Sharky 3 bait feeder, that is a phenomenal. Either the bait feeder or the normal spinning reel, that is a fan favorite. Who doesn't love the Royal Legend 2 bait caster? That's a phenomenal reel coming in at $39. That is a super affordable reel that's going to compete with anything out there uh, in a $10 to $15 more price range. Plus, you're going to be able to get 10, you know, 15 to 20% off when you combo that. We have the new Virus Assassin is back. Uh, taking the Assassin platform, that is a phenomenal carbon fiber reel you guys are going to adore. One of my favorite drop shot reels right here is super affordable. I mean, that thing is dirt cheap when it comes to inexpensive but flat works. Guys, this is a phenomenal drop shot reel. It was one of my go-tos. I have reels that are two to three times more expensive, but I love the way this thing performed with that sealed drag system for a drop shot. That's a great option. The Rover, for any of you guys, bigger species, catfish, things to that nature. The Megatron, when you want that serious drag, those are awesome, awesome systems. You can click on those. We have rods. Rods are also included in these sales. From the Speed Demon, the Royal Select, the Pair G2, you have options in here. The new Royal Charge in that bright fluorescent reddish orange, awesome system, 14 different ones to choose from. Fishing lines, lures. Guys, I think you get the point. There's a lot of different things to take advantage of. From lines, lures, kits, uh, tackle, uh, you've got the tackle bags, you've got all your different necessities. Guys, these new Brutus uh, nets are phenomenal. I'm telling you guys, got to get the big net. It's a serious, it's an adjustable net. It's fantastic. I'm. It, it's a go-to. You can get this in an inexpensive package. And like I showed you right here, you have several different sizes to choose from, from small, medium to large, perfect for kayaks or really small like uh, wading fishing. This is a super awesome system. It does come in its own carry case. Check it out, guys. So definitely take a look at those options. They are awesome right there. Good deals happening on that. Now, apparel and sunglasses and camping equipment. So this isn't just casking gear. This is also happening from the apparel on a lot of the different stuff, but it's also going to hit in that outdoor market. From sleeping bags, guys, this guy right here, the new soft-sided Rondu cooler is Excellent. You're definitely going to get that render cooler. It's awesome. The camping utensil kits. I know Seth Larson, he goes out. He just said hello earlier in the show. He does a lot of outdoor stuff. Um, and with the fire uh, that he works, because he has a bunch of trucks, water trucks that he does in a lot of the outdoor wildfire world. And he uses a lot of the extremist gear from the camping gap bags to the cots uh, and these utensil sets. He's going to take a look at that. Now, another cool thing right here. Look at this, guys. A rooftop cargo carrier. That's dope right there for all you people that do a lot of outdoor stuff looking for an affordable cargo carrier. Now you can get a super affordable cargo carrier with that 15 or 20% off discount when you click that and add those to your cart. But guys, make sure that you are adding those discount codes to the discount at the checkout, guys. And that's going to help you guys save 15 to 20% off. So guys, check that out. John Crabtree is in the house. John, congratulations. Okay, so John, you won. And we also have Crappy Kev one. So if you're the lucky winner, and we know John Crabtree is John, what you're going to want to do, you're a Facebook user, find me, a.j.gore, G-O-R-E, on Facebook. You'll be able to notice me. If you click on my profile, you'll see a ton of fishing pics, casking stuff. That's me. So go ahead and hit me up on my private messenger on Facebook, and I'll get you dialed in on your choice of the fishing line congratulations john glad to see a winner actually participating watching tonight and see his name come across congratulations see guys dreams do come true courtesy of cast king give it away aj and hopefully somebody can can uh tag or crappy kev will see this in the rebroadcast on youtube and hit me up crappy kev same thing find me on facebook hit me up on messenger a dot lowercase j dot g-o-r-e i'm the guy with all the cast king gear and all the fishing picks, easy to find. Hit me up on Messenger. Show me that uh, your login is Crappy Kev on YouTube uh, and a screenshot of that. And we will get you taken care of and dialed in, guys. Guys, until next Tuesday night, looks like everything's flowed pretty smooth. My internet's working great. Didn't have any issues. <laughs> we got through it for once. Uh, got it done. So hit us up next Tuesday. We're going to go live 8 p.m. Maybe we'll have another giveaway. Maybe we'll give away a Kestrel. Maybe we'll give away a rock. Maybe we'll give away some line. Maybe we'll give away some tackle. 
But let's do another giveaway on next week's show, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Guys, Nikki's going live tomorrow night, later this week. You guys are going to want to check her out. Who knows what she's got going on? So, guys, definitely check it out. And make sure you're following us on TikTok, Cast King USA. Make sure you're following us on Instagram, also Cast King USA. But a second page at Cast King Community. Jump on over. If you're watching us here on Facebook, you already know we're just simply Casking on Facebook. And if you're watching on YouTube, you got to figure it out as well. Casking right here on YouTube. Guys, my name is AJ Gore, also known as Give It Away AJ. And I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, next week when we go live. And guess what, guys? I got some new things to show you next week. I got a couple new reels. Just to, to I just, look, it's still in the packages. We're going to talk about these. We're going to dive into them. Maybe I'll give one of those away. Hmm. We'll see. You guys want a new reel?